A few weeks later, the tarpon had arrived. I teamed up with two of the top shark hunters around Boca, Zach Rezeni and Wayne Nichols. We're here today after the hammerhead. Is, is that one of your favorite sharks to go after? It's one of my favorite ones to go after. But then again, it's not just because it is fun when you get one, but it's so hard to get one, trying to get one to eat. It's easy as can be to get them up next to the boat and whatnot, but to get them to eat is a whole other story. They're not like a bull or another species where you can put out that, that bloody fish and, and pretty sure that you're going to get something interested. Exactly. Hammerheads are finicky. Definitely. Finicky as they come. Hammerheads, uh, they've been caught in the past for, for records and things like that. Uh, what's the biggest that you have seen in this area? The biggest hammerhead that I've seen? Yeah. 20 foot. 20 foot at least. 20 foot? Maybe about three, four foot shy of this boat, and this boat's 24 foot. So, I mean, just comparing him to the boat, he, he was a big one. We saw him, what was it, about two or three weeks ago now? Two weeks ago. So today, what do you think our chances are? It's always a throw up. <laughs> it's a toss of the dice. Definitely. I was seeing them real good. I was getting one to eat. It's 50-50 bull sharks. Shouldn't be a problem at all, no. especially this time of year. But just about guarantee a bull shark will go. The density of bull sharks, much more than the hammerheads? Way more. Mm -hmm. You'll see, yeah. like out there in the pass especially, you'll see usually nothing shorter than about 12 foot for the hammerheads. And you, whenever you see those giant hammerheads come up, a lot of times you'll have them right beside the boat swimming, especially yeah. when you've got a tarpon on. Yeah. And it's neat because you look back behind them 20, 30 yards, and you'll see three, four, five, six bull sharks. But they will not come in near that hammerhead until he gets his first bite. Nope. Nobody eats before the hammer. We headed to ground zero for both predator and prey, Boca Grand Pass. It was practically shoulder to shoulder fishing room. Boy, this looks familiar, Zach. Nah, a little too familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you see some funny stuff out here? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, we've been out here dying laughing the last few weeks. Wayne didn't like the flurry of human activity, so we headed to calmer waters to anchor and wait out the man in the gray suit. Wayne is 21 feet, and we're pretty far off the beach. Why Why here? Why this spot? That's a spot I used to fish with an old partner of mine a lot for a lot of the tournaments we used to do. We always caught a lot of sharks out here. Not really any good reason why they're here. There's a little bit of a little bit of rocky bottom, but other than that, just the natural flow of tarpon going up and down the beach, I guess. Do you ever see tarpon way out here? Yeah, we've caught them out here. You see the pass, it's not that far from the pass. Hammerheads and bulls. Mm -hmm. Zach and Wayne began their prep work for a big hammer. These boys have been to this rodeo before and have the credentials to prove it, winning the Guy Harvey Ultimate Shark Challenge earlier in the year. Shark fishing isn't pretty or glamorous, with bloody fluid passing through the bait well to eventually create an enticing slick in the Gulf waters. And we didn't have to wait long. Pulling the boat. What's your biggest shark, Zach? My biggest shark ever? Yeah. Bull? I've had some big ones hooked up, but bull. Zach initially didn't think he needed the harness because of his feel for the weight of the shark, but Wayne wasn't taking any chances. I, I take a belt, please, though. A belt? Turn chair around. Yeah, but I'm going to the back of the boat. Man, we don't even need the bell. He's right here. He ain't too far off. He's right here. A little fatty. I 
It's tag worthy. Judging by the similar height of the two dorsal fins, it looked to be a lemon shark, and bigger than first thought. Now, what are you? Why are you tagging them? Uh, mainly so we can relay the information to Moat Marine, just in case anybody ever hooks them again. They can call the phone number on the tag, and if we can get a decent measurement on them. Zach's fight had been relatively easy up to this point, but it's when the shark gets close to the boat that the strenuous tug of war really plays out. Excuse me, man. Hey, Wayne, can you grab that 50 wide? This was the first of many back testing dives that the shark made under the boat. Zach is probably appreciating the harness a lot more right now. Ah, oh, great. Anchor rope. Anchor rope. Anchor rope. Anchor rope. The substantial weight of the shark, combined with the current, made the fight stretch out and remain intense for Zach. Well, a lot of times when we're fighting these sharks out here, when you get them up, you know, you can see them good, seems like most of the time. Almost always one of them big hammerheads will come up and investigate and he'll hang right around the boat and right around the shark that you're fighting. I've never had any attack a bigger shark like this, but if you've got a three, four, five footer, you consider it gone. They will demolish them right on top of the water right in front of you. Looks I'm glad I'm not on that rod today. Because that looks really tiring. It's been over an hour now. Finally, the lemon was near exhaustion and ready to be corralled for tagging. One eight two six. One eight two six. And that just you just puncture it in there? Into her skin? And what if they find this shark again? There it goes, there's the tag. With a really convenient measuring chart on the side of the boat, we recorded the shark at nearly nine feet, four inches. Her girth was estimated too. Then it was time for the shark's release. Here, let me have a hold of that rope and get it. Oh, here, hold on, you got to choke. I need slack in the rope to get it off though. Yeah. That's why we just got it here, hold on. Let me get it to Hold on to the tail. I got it too. Get her. Get her up on Whoa! Rope off. I'm trying, man. It's tearing at a pretty ground. Watch that head now. She's alive now. There she's going. <laughs> Hi, baby. Boy, that head came back just a little bit there, huh? When we were trying to get that rope off, that head snapped back around. She was tired. She was aggravated. She was done with it. Um, but that was good research, guys. Tagged it, put in a, a measurement on it, the girth. And Wayne was talking about uh, that you haven't seen lemons that big in this area in a while. I haven't seen a lemon shark that big in probably four or five years down here. It's been a while. The last one I caught was probably four years ago that was bigger than that. But that's the last big shark that I've seen up here for lemons. Why does Wayne... This year they banned them, so now you can't keep them anymore. They're protected. Did you hear that Wayne just beat? He said bigger than that. He just, what can you do? Did you think it was that big? Honestly, I didn't think it was that big. I, I, did, I, I didn't think so either at first. And then when we got it closer to the boat, then I could see, you know, where it could stretch the nine, which it did. 
beautiful shark, a lemon shark. Yes, sir. You tired? I'm ready to hook up another one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's young enough to say that. Like Bucky had mentioned before, it's important to match your steel leader with the length of the shark you're after. If the leader is too short, the shark's own tail can wear through that line. Just be prepared with a cutting tool suitable to cut the leader if you can't get the hook out with reasonable safety. The shark will appreciate not dragging around a 10-foot leader from its mouth. Hammer it. Zach, turn it to the left, to the left. Big hammerhead. Giant hammerhead. Big hammerhead. 15, 15 feet Well, I saw that. I saw that fin. He's right there. You just got to suck it up. Folks, we got a, we got a yeah. float out there. Yeah. Put some, put some barely juice. see it, but we just saw a huge fin come up. About four and a half foot dorsal. Look at it. Look at it. There he is. Look at that. Here's your 15 footer easy. Holy mackerel, look at that dude. Well, he's probably closing to eight. See how he's coming up that come off? Yep. Shoot you go. Is he following your bait? Oh, you see that fin? There he is. There, look at how high that fin is. Wow, look at the size of that fin. I'm looking at the tail behind it. Here's your new world record hammer right there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> see, now, like we said, it's easy to see him getting them to eat as a truck tricky yeah, yeah. Getting them up ain't a problem. Right now, he's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it? I got him, Zach. All right. He's eating it. I'm going, man. There goes, there, there it goes. There goes the bobber. Not stopped. You taking it? Yeah, I had the bobber rig where it come off. It'll fly it up. Or that could be one of them. The big bull followed him hammerheads. They stay right behind him. So, you know, odds are, if he didn't eat it, one of them big bulls the might big be right behind him. Yeah. That's what them bulls do. They wait for them to take a bite of, like, say, a tarpon or whatever. Scavenging. And then when they, as soon as they bite it, they'll come flying in there, and then they get the rest of it. That's yeah. it. We had to take there for a second, but um, he didn't, uh, did he, he didn't bust it, did he? That fast. It's gone busted. Swallowed that bait and probably lost eight or ten foot a liter, and that was only a twenty foot liter. So wow! You lose eight or ten foot a liter, and you've got fifteen plus foot of shark, and you started off with a twenty foot liter. Guess what? Yeah. You now have pure line on their tail. You see, it was too, it hit it all the way up to there with that tail. Mm-hmm. You can see the end. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of fray right there. I'm at, I'm at, at least touching the, uh, the area where the hammerhead touched. 